Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to create breakable objects like this one and for now it's just if you press Q it will happen and this will happen and after a few seconds also this one will uh, will destroy itself so let's first take a quick look to the setup so we got here a normal uh, cube use the devil cube and here there's just a box collider, just a rich body and a script we are going to talk about later with only a, a two variables, the health and uh, which object will spawn when this object will um, when this object is destroyed. And that's everything for this one. And we also got the destructible object and that's this one of actually the object uh, that was spam so there's um, well the visuals actually this that are just th these ones and it's just exactly the same by everyone just the normal um, material just a rigid body and a mesh collider and you need to uh, turn it on convex that's important because otherwise rigid body won't work and also there's a sound uh, something and you have to place it in this one that's just uh, better for the performance and well nothing uh, everything is just normal except for this play on awake and breaking wood um, first i wanted to do this tutorial with wood but now with stone so the sounds a little bit weird but I think that's not a problem and um, it will play so because it will play on awake it will exactly play at the exact moment this cube is destroyed so you won't notice it's actually in this cube so and there are also some particles and it's just from the default particle system and everything is exactly the same it's from explosion and only the sparks in the firewall I got and only this one it changed um, I'm sorry only the sparks it changed to another and that is just my stone particle material and that's just particle additive Sto soft and it's just the texture I want to have and well that's not that special so now let's look into the script and that's looking like this so you got public float health that you can change for every uh, object the destroyed object will happen and this part is just for this tutorial i'm sorry normally you you have something uh, a bullet or something and it will do exactly the same what will stand in this place and you get instead of this from uh, it will be this because it will uncollide ender and well things like that so just let me explain everything to so first get the object it will hit so normally this for a bullet so i will also explain it as it as if it were for a bullet and it will send a much effort to get bullet damage that's this one it will send how much damage is normally that's a uh, that's variable but for now it's just 20 just to make the tutorial a little bit easier and I sent message options that it don't require a receiver because although it, a bullet can also touch um, the ground something that isn't destructible so for that reason there's this just so you won't get any errors so now we're going to get the damage you get the damage you first you um, you um, removed from health and if health is underneath zero it will destroy this game object or actually it will destroy the game object after it spawns the destroy object and then you you do this with this um, line and first you will uh, say what is the object well it's destroyed object which we assigned here the position and the rotation are exactly the same 
and just that it is a game object and after that you destroy it so i think this very simple but it works perfectly and the last thing is how to create a cube that is destructible so we got here a cube and we're going to change it to to a destructible cube or the cube that is broken so shift d moved around see set axis you smooth it smooth so uh no i mean do you simplify it and um, you simplify it smooth and smoothness is, uh, you need to have it around something like this do it not too often just what you think is for a game like pirate thrasher you should check it out it's on my channel somewhere um it's important to have not too many verticals otherwise the game will be too slow because the whole game is about this kind of thing but if your game is about this you can also um, add more verticals or something like this so also this something up something like this just play around with it and just think ah this is looking great after that you cell fracture you do this around five otherwise the performance will decrease too much and you just keep this and all right and now you de delete this one because you don't need that anymore and now here build a new object stand and this one you just export it and you got a destructible object so i think i made everything clear if it didn't please ask a question in the comments section and well i hope you guys like it if you did please leave a like um a subscribe or just comment if you've got any questions or you've got any questions about something else and you want me to make a tutorial about it.